Hey everyone, it's Jason at Digital Blog here in Fresno, California. I am coming back to you guys to show us the redesigned V2 Rise Tower. The first time was just a proof of concept. We showed moving it by hand up on top. And I'm gonna show you the new system we have now, which is completely internalized the entire system. And we have a pulley system down here. So that way I can rise and lower it within 15 seconds just by walking outside my house without a need to go to the top of the tower to touch anything. So when there's electrical storm, a thunderstorm, heavy high winds that are coming in that might cause damage to my investment, the antenna and everything out there, I can drop it down to 33 feet, which puts it just about one to two feet above the height of my house. And then immediately afterwards, be able to rise it back up to nearly 48 feet. So first, I'm gonna climb up and show you a couple things that I did here. Here's my outdoor enclosure. This is my pulley system. I used two pulleys. Let's walk up and take a look. So what I have right here is a light counterweight system. This is a pulley on the actual LMR cable. You guys might wonder if this damages it. This is a really stiff cable. And you can see it doesn't really tug down on it. It's just enough to make sure the cable doesn't get caught when it's raised and lowered in between all these little struts. Hope you guys aren't getting sick from all the wobbling. All right, right up here. I've secured it to the siding of my house. This is what keeps it stiff. You can see we got a copper grounding. I got a ground wire that goes here, goes all the way down. And we're almost at the top now. So I have a lightning arrestor on the antenna, which is then grounded to the mast. There we go. So keep this loose. Got a little cable right here. Got a Niska flag. It's my wife's. So right here, we kept the couplers inside. Uh, we added a little spacer, we don't tighten them all the way, but we added a spacer here and put some self-lubricating plastic in here so it makes it nice and easy. We don't have to make it completely loose. You can see there's the LMR cable coming through here. This is our pulley line. Here's the actual line at the base of it that pulls it up. So you can see we got about eight more inches there anyways. There's the pulley up on top. And there we go. And there's our six decibel antenna right up on top. All right. So we're up here. I think that looks pretty cool. Right? Happy Fourth of July, by the way. We're pretty much above everything else around here. I can't even lift up this phone to be as tall as the antenna right now. So here's the top. And I'm gonna leave you up here for a second. I'm gonna go retract the antenna. So that way you can see actually how this thing uh, moves up and down. Let me find you a better spot here. That looked cool. Let's walk over. All right, here we are. Centena. Right. 
LMR cable. Lightning arrestor in here. Goes up. The ground wire and the cable comes up through the center of the pipe. Wraps nice and big around. The grounding cable actually comes through the pipe. As you can see, we got all the excess hanging out right here. And there's our antenna. Pretty simple, straightforward. We use this big old half inch bolt as a stopper. Prevention from everything slipping out. Yep. And I'm gonna take you down and I'll show you the last of it. All right, bring it back up. Grab the rope from here. Hope you guys enjoyed our innovation of the Rise Tower. Happy mining, good luck on getting all that H&T guys.